Pizza Derulo! Hey, Nils, hey, Nils, how you guys doing? Um, doing well. So we're on a Zoom right now, and I can see that there is a bowling center. Is this uh, your private 10-pin bowling alley here, or are we somewhere? Uh, yeah, it's at, it's at the, the new house. Wow. Congratulations. That is, because that is, I think that is something that everyone thinks if they ever yeah. make it, yeah. that they want the bowling alley in the home. And <laughs> you've done that, Jason Derulo. Yeah, people say um, it's one of those things that you get and then you don't use, um, but that's a lie. <laughs> I'd be, be in this thing a little too much, actually. That's so cool. I mean, because bowling would actually be a release, I would feel. It's sort of like a meditation sort of feel, or no? I feel like uh, that way. I mean, especially when you get good. So I, I feel like I've you know been getting a little better every day. You know what I'm saying? I so. saw that strike. I saw that strike on Instagram. It's a little shimmy. I yeah. know. I know. <laughs> she saw it. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, are you are you literally like getting to the point where one day you've it has the thought of you, Jason Drulo, in the back of your mind gone, "Hey, I could keep doing this and I could compete one day." Like, is that has that ever happened? <laughs> Nah, I mean, to get that strike, I mean, it only took me like 17 times. So I don't think I'm going to wear clothes. Don't tell them. Don't oh, tell man. people about that. Uh, listen, we, we can't wait. Uh, you, It seems like you love the UAE, which I love. We, 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 we see that you're here. You frequently visit. So we're, so we're so happy to have you on our shores. You're coming back to the Coca-Cola Arena. Get ready. This is one of the most beautiful arenas in the Middle East. And you're here October 28th. Uh, I'm sure you're excited about the show. Absolutely, man. Um, you know, I've been coming uh, to that region for a long time and um, I've done, you know, uh, tons of private events. I've done, you know, club shows and, uh, you know, had a good time because it's one of my favorite places to party, you know. Um, so we've had a lot of great nights, to say the least. But I felt like it was time to like come and like do like a proper, like a proper show, you know, because, um, you know, the, the nightclub is, is you know, it's, it's a different, very different vibe. Um, whereas the, the stage show is an entirely, <laughs> entirely different kind of movie. Jason, I've got a, I've got two daughters, right? They're thirteen and eleven, and it is, uh -huh. and it is the first show ever that they have asked Dad, "Can you get us tickets to the Jason Derulo show?" In my career, I've been in radio for twenty years. Uh -huh. It's the first show that they've said, "Dad, we want tickets." <laughs> Wow, I love that, man. That's that's amazing. What what are their names? Uh, there's we. I call them Nushi and Kiki. Nushi and Kiki. Nushi and Kiki. Well, Nushi and Kiki, I cannot wait to meet you guys. I love oh. that. I love that. But that's but the thing about your music and what you do, Jason. I think that you do so well is that you cross all ages, right? There's people at my age that love your music, love what you do, appreciate what you're doing on stage as well. And then I think with the whole TikTok feel as well, you've yeah. captured a whole younger audience as well that are ready to come out and see Jason Derulo. <laughs> for sure, for sure. I, I mean, I think it's a beautiful thing. Um, just just being able to just, you know, reinvent yourself over and over and over again. You know, I, I feel like the, the kids have their finger on the pulse and they always know what's next. Um, well, thank goodness I bet on the kids, you know, because I saw my nieces and nephews and they were loving this this app. And I was like, what is this? Let me see what this is. Let me see what you guys are always on. And then I started playing around with it and it started having too much fun. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> are you on yeah. uh, are you on Be Real yet? Um I just I just signed up. Yeah, same what's, what, what's what's my be real again? Isn't it like Jason underscore or something? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't even get my own, I what? couldn't even get my own name. <laughs> they took your name already. Yeah, they, isn't, that, isn't that crazy? Because this Be Real thing came up. I had a I had someone come up to me and just want to do a... They said to me, Chris, can you do a Be Real? And and I didn't know what that meant. I, I just said, yeah, sure. And then they handed me their phone and I was like, well, what do I do with it? And, and then I learned this whole new app. Do you know the art of doing this new platform, Be Real? Like, you know how to do it? I do. I mean, I mean, people put me on. Uh, I haven't done one yet for my own, but I mean, people ask me to do their B-rolls, uh, like you, like you just said. So um, I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm a pro now. You have got possibly the cutest kid ever, Jason King Derulo. <laughs> oh, so cute! He is so <laughs> cute. How is it being a dad? Oh man, what? It's the it's the best thing on earth. I mean, I don't mean to sound cliche, but it, it's changed my life. Yeah. Yeah. You start doing things. Do you, do you find that? I remember before kids, after kids, you just start doing everything for them. Like everything that you're doing in your career, you always got them in the back of your head now. 
Yeah, you know, I think we all have a, a very selfish mentality, right? Um, we were always thinking about how we're going to get ourselves to the next level, how we're going to accomplish our dreams, how we're going to do this, that, and the other. And then when you have a kid, now it's like, how do I help them accomplish their dreams? How do I make sure they're straight? How do I, you know, protect them? I mean, it's all, you know, all about them. I have to talk about um, switching from kids to one thing that I was so excited about. When you teamed up with Tesher for Jalebi Baby, Jason Derulo, as an <laughs> Indian girl, American Indian girl, right? I uh -huh. was like, what? Like, <laughs> you could not believe how excited so many South Asian people were with that song. I love that you do that. But you've done that with so many different artists from around the world where you've crossed those boundaries and lines. How has social media changed your view of music? Well, I don't know that it's changed my view of music. Yeah. Uh I, I've always had such a love for international music, and that might be me being from Miami. I was just exposed to so many different cultures um, in Miami. And, you know, being a fan of music in general, uh, I love to dibble and dabble in, in uh, all different kinds of sounds. When something sounds uh, different and uh, feels uh, next or feels other, um, those are my favorite kinds of songs. You know, when things are a little too down the middle, um, it, those are, don't tend to be my, my favorite songs. When it starts blending, music starts blending into each other, um, you know, I, I tend to not be into those kinds of things. But yeah, I mean, the world is a big place and there's just so much music to, to, to dig into. I, I would be crazy not to. If there was one past uh, artist that you could have worked with, who would have that been, Jason Derulo? I mean, definitely Michael Jackson, without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. He's the sole reason I started doing this <laughs> uh, thing in the first place. So, yeah, for sure, for sure. Let's talk about the um, the fitness side of things. I uh, I go to the gym six days a week, and I don't go for the physical gains. I go for the mental gains. I feel like it resets my mind. It gets gives me clarity. Uh, sometimes. Are, are, you, are you being honest about that? Dude, 100%. I, I, I suffered from anxiety and depression for about three years, and I was on pills, right? Um, yeah. I was only on pills for about a year though, but then I, they weren't doing anything. And then I started mm -hmm. going to the gym. I was, I was really fat. I was obese. And then I started going to the gym and I realized I started feeling really good after the gym and that would last only a moment. So I started doing two sessions a day cause it made me feel good and then it would go away and then I go again and make me feel good. And then I found that just fitness in general made me feel better mentally right? Yeah, you get guns out of it and you get whatever. But from the mental side of things, do you, I, I, I was, I was reading and I, and I heard you somewhere that sort of resonates with you. It gets you through those sort of harder times. Um, it can, it can. Um, so going to the gym is a part of my lifestyle. So there's times where I don't really want to go. So like I have a, sh I have um, a, this TV show that I'm doing tomorrow and I got to get up at 5 a.m. to make it to the gym. And I'm not, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really looking forward to doing that. Um, but getting to the gym is half the battle. Once you get there, it's, it's, it's easy from there. I mean, you're gonna figure it out once you get there. Um, but it's sometimes making it uh, to the gym is a bit of a battle. And then other times I cannot wait, you know, but yeah. it's, it, it's I, I don't make it um, about just uh, feeling, it's not just feeling good for me because it's just a part of my, my routine. Like, and it, it's like, that's, it's like breathing, right? Like I have to breathe and then I have to go to the gym. I have to eat, you know, it's just one of those things that I have to do. And you know, if Jason Derulo can fit in the time, cause so many people say they don't have the time. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. Mr. Derulo <laughs> can find the time and if that's waking up at 5 a.m. to get there, you know, there's time in the yes. day. There is, right? right. And, and I'll give you an example of that. So today I didn't really have very much time at all. And I had to do like a bunch of emails and stuff. So I had, so, I told myself that I would go to the gym for 45 minutes. And um, instead of like lifting weights today, then I was just gonna get on the Stairmaster for 45 minutes. And I and I had it from between like six and nine on the Stairmaster. And yeah, and I, I burnt like 420 calories. Wow. Smashed it, smashed it, well done. There's uh, there's two things I wanna do just before we get you going. Uh, one, we'll get, get you off here. Number one, uh, true or false, is it the whole, you know, the whole Jason Derulo, are you over that? Someone told me that you could be over that. And I'm not sure if you are, I feel like it's still in the songs. No, nah, I'm not, I'm not over it. So, I mean, when somebody comes up to me and say, can you sing my name? 
I mean, <laughs> probably not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Like, really? Someone comes up and is like, my name's Fatima or Muhammad. Could you go, Muhammad? Is that really? Every day. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That would, that would get frustrating. Could you yeah, imagine yeah. walking day, down the yeah. street, someone coming up to you going, Hey, could you just say my, could you say my name? Could you sing it? Could you sing it? <laughs> All right. it. Hey, I, but one thing I stopped doing is laughing. Like when people like come up to me and like sing my name and then like want a response. And then they look at me like, <laughs> I'd be like, uh, I ain't about to laugh no more. I, I, I can't do the I can't do the <laughs> laugh thing no more. It's like <laughs> stop asking okay. Jason Derulo. There we go. Okay, this stop is it. a public service announcement to the world. Yeah. If you ever see Jason Derulo, you do not go up and say, yes. "Could you say my name?" Are you going to sing it? All right, we're not doing that anymore. No more. What I want to do though, quickly, is put you to the test. Um, I've got uh, I've got a few of your songs, and you've got to guess which ones they are. By the way, that you say your name. Are you ready? Too lit, yeah. Song number one. <laughs> Don't want to go home. Yeah! This is going to be easy. Oh, yeah! Got so many hits, Jason. Honestly, like it's it, like you don't realize it sometimes until they're all in front of you. The amount of yeah. smashes that you have put out. Congratulations. Um, <clears throat> song number two. Jason Derulo. Ooh. That's in my head. Yeah, we went way back yeah. as well. Yeah! Yeah. Hear all these live. All right, number three. Jason <laughs> That was short. Uh, that's Take You Dancing. Uh, you know them all. Yeah. All right, last one. Don't forget, all the, these are just a fraction of the songs yeah. this man has done. This is crazy. It's so cool. Last one. Here we go. Oh, no, I gave it away. I gave it away. I gave it away. <laughs> nah, I got another one. I made a mistake. Jason <laughs> <laughs> Derulo. Yes, yes. Okay, last one. Last one for the win. Jason <laughs> Derulo. <laughs> That's the first one ever, man. That's uh, what you say. Wow. Yeah. What a song. So cool, man. All right. Well, we're not going to keep any more. He's in his, he's in his palace. He's in his palace. Uh... In Los in, in LA in LA is that where we're at? Mm -hmm. oh, all right, uh, Jason Derulo, October twenty eighth, Coca Cola Arena. Please go out there and see him. Are we going to get you to do a? Are you going to give us a strike right now? Are you going to give us a go? I could I could try to make it do it. All do right, it. okay, got, come on, yes, come on. here we go, Jason. He's go. got he's got to, he's literally stood up, Jason Derulo, right now. He's going to give this strike a go. Will he be able to get it? He's done the little stretch. He's, come on. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's a split, it's a split. Oh, just two, just two left, man, just two. Yeah, that, that, that was a, a glitch in the system. <laughs> <laughs> Coca-Cola Arena, Woo! Jason Derulo, you're a legend, brother. Thank you so much, man. Thank you, guys, appreciate it. <laughs> the Chris Fade Show on Virgin Radio.